I mean, my daughter missed over half the year last year, and she got A's and B's, and we were like really confused, like how how she didn't earn these grades. That is the question some parents in Prince William County have after their kids were given passing grades without getting the instruction they deserved. It's a new layer surrounding a crisis in the classroom that Seven on Your Side's Christian Flores first exposed just last week. Well, tonight, these parents say that the school district is setting their children up for failure. It was a lot of stress and heartache for me. Frustration from a mother who says her child was not getting the education she deserves. Dr. Kimberly Melman Orozco and Yesenia Lassiter both say it happened to each of their daughters. It started with Melman Orozco, who was concerned her daughter Mia was getting passing grades despite not having the appropriate amount of class time, a trend that has a nickname among parents of special education students. The special education A, which I know is something that a lot of parents aren't aware of, but they sort of conceal this lack of progress by artificially inflating the grades by omitting assignments. When it was brought to the attention of the state, the Virginia Department of Education ruled Prince William County Public Schools violated the law by not providing enough hours of special education instruction. I had hired a private tutor because I saw a real lack of progress. In the state's ruling, a whistleblower teacher claimed Mia was not receiving all of her special education services. The school district even admitted to investigators they owed Mia hours of instruction that she never got. One of the things that parents need to look for and your viewers need to look for is if there is a gap between their what grade level they're reading at versus what they're earning um, for their end of year grades. After the ruling, Lassiter came forward on behalf of her daughter, Bella. She wasn't even in the class. Bella had to spend much of last year at home while taking chemotherapy medication for an arm condition. Emails from the school district reveal they were not able to provide at-home instructors for language arts and social studies. It's just been a like constant struggle with Prince William County getting them to be accountable for the hours that you know she was supposed to get. Bella's report card shows she got an A in language arts despite having 36 absences. She had all of this missing foundational knowledge that she needed, um, but unfortunately she didn't have, and so. You know, now we're like, you know, what do we do? Seven News reached out to Prince William County Public Schools, asking them what steps they're taking in response to the state's findings and if they will review how teachers grade students who miss class time. They provided a statement saying they do not comment on pending matters, even though the rulings are now final. We followed up with them, but have not heard back. You're literally setting her up for failure. The Virginia Department of Education ruled Prince William County Public Schools must provide the hours Melman Orozco's daughter is missing. Melman Orozco tells me she has not been given a plan yet. Now we requested an interview with the state to find out how they're going to make sure the district follows through. We're still waiting for that interview request to be fulfilled so we can get those answers for these parents. Reporting live at the Alert Desk, Christian Flores, 7 News. We'll be right back.